was a graduate student here at Cal and first year in social psychology. And the culture of social psychology is find a topic that people don't think can be studied scientifically and do it scientifically. So during that year, it happened to my great fortune that I fell in love. Actually, I fell in love with Elaine Aaron, who I've been living with and collaborating, uh, and my wife, for many, many years since then. So what happened is we fell in love, and I looked for research on it since I was in love, and there was hardly any. And I said, here's my topic. Studying love scientifically, brain imaging, lab experiments, gives us a deep understanding of how love works. And love is central to human life. It is the biggest predictor, relationship quality is the biggest predictor of human happiness, more than wealth or success. And it's a huge predictor of health. How long we'll live is predicted more strongly by your relationship quality than by smoking or obesity. We're confident that this procedure of answering 36 questions that gradually get more and more personal that both people answer, as well as a few other items in there like saying what you have in common, things you like about the other, that when you do these things, you're going to feel closer to the other person. Now, does that make falling in love? It could contribute to it. Part of falling in love is feeling a connection. Certainly, if many other things are in place and this happens, it could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. We know these 36 questions get people closer. That can facilitate falling in love. If this is an appropriate person for you, probably good to facilitate falling in love. Um, if they're not, though, you have to be careful. You, they could reject you. They could not be a good partner for you. The relationship research I've done over the years that I'm proudest of, uh, the earliest one is what we call the arousal attraction effect. If you run in place for 10 minutes or you're on a scary bridge and you meet a reasonably attractive person, you say, oh, I'm feeling attracted to them. A second one is uh, when you're in a long-term relationship after a few months, doing things that are exciting, challenging, novel with the partner sort of reinvigorates that sense of love and excitement. Third thing is we've identified the parts of the brain that become active when you are thinking about or looking at a picture of someone you're intensely in love with. Uh, something that shows up even in very long-term couples that are very intensely in love. Finally, uh, of the major things is what we call including other in the self. When you're in a close relationship with someone, they become part of who you are. If just like when a mother uh, has her child injured, she feels it physically. This is true in all close relationships. Mm -hmm.